Hey everyone, Michael Bodner here with another Tesla Tunity, and today we're gonna find out if I chip the screen on my wife's Tesla Model 3. All right, so the screen in your Model 3 is kind of in the line of danger, right? It sticks out from the dash, and it really doesn't have much protection around it at all. If you look at the Model S or the Model X, of course the screen is in the dash, has a nice bezel around it, really protects the edges of the screen. But here in the Model 3, all it really takes is one careless moment and it's really easy to chip the screen. You're going to put the phone down into the charging tray and you know either putting it down or taking it back out, but you know probably putting it in where you're gonna brush past the screen uh, I was in the passenger seat in my wife's car and I banged the bottom uh, near the corner of the screen. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. And uh, we do have some good news here. I have the Elon Accessories matte finish screen protector on my wife's car. And what I found out um, without even realizing is it has a lifetime warranty. So hopefully, I don't, honestly, I don't even know yet. We're going to look at this together. Hopefully the screen protector took most, if not all, of the damage. We'll peel it off, put on a new one, and we'll be good to go. And again, that new one was totally free. So uh, I'm going to walk you through that, hopefully all as well, and uh, let's check it out. All right, let me get you in here for a closer look. It's the bottom right corner of uh, my wife's screen. So it looks like it's just the screen protector, and let's, uh, let's keep our fingers crossed and uh, find out. All right, so in speaking to Ram from Elon Accessories, uh, my first big question was, how do you get the screen protector off? He said, uh, peel from the corners. It might break, he said, because this is real glass, so it might actually crack. That looks pretty good. And there you go. There's our, uh, our crack in the, uh, or our chip in the screen protector and i am very thankful for this screen protector you could see no damage whatsoever to the screen so i'll go ahead and install the new screen protector and uh we'll show you how it looks all right so this is it again it's the elon accessories 15 inch touch screen protector for tesla model 3 I'll have a link in the description down below for you. This is available direct on their website. It's also available on Amazon. So I'll give you both links. That'll take you there. It's a premium product. Um, you know, a lot of people, after I did the first install video on this, and uh, I've got a link up on the, uh, at the top there if you want to go and check it out and see how to install this. A lot of people said, wow, that's really expensive. Um, you know, let me remind you. It's a lot cheaper than, than it would have been to replace this thing had I chipped the actual screen. So it's a premium product. It's worth every penny. Of course, in addition to protecting my wife's screen from my mistake, it's also fingerprint resistant. And um, the other key is the anti-glare. I, I can't tell you enough good things about that. And especially now with version 10 of the software, we can watch Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, instructional videos. You want that anti-glare screen. So, uh, this product from Elon Accessories is worth every penny. So again, the link in the description down below. You could buy direct on their website, or you could also buy it on Amazon, and I think it even has one-day shipping on Prime. So uh, check out those links down below, and uh, let's go ahead and put it on and uh, get my wife's car back in, back in perfect shape. All right, so um, I was uh, an early adopter, I guess you could say, of Elon Accessories kit. Um, it's been over a year, or about a year, since my wife's had it. And uh, so we have version one of the kit in both of our cars. This is version two. I think it's exactly the same. Uh, double checking on the, on the instructions. The only difference is there's gonna be five stickers across the top, uh, which is gonna make sense in a second. That's going to uh, help with the installation. So here it is, the installation kit. Uh, I think it, the packaging is also definitely a little bit better. And of course, you know, recycle everything. So let's see here. Okay, so mostly the same. We've got a cleaning wipe, wet and dry. 
uh, only use the wet if we need to. I don't think we're going to need to because obviously the screen was already clean. Um, one of the best little microfiber towels. Uh, really, really like these. So we get another one of those. Um, looks like this is like our, our little squeegee. So this is new in this kit. It's, uh, it's bigger and it looks like it's a safer material. And then it uh, looks like they gave us two packs of, of this here. So we've got six guide stickers. I think we'll use about five of them and two of what they call the dust absorbers. It's a sticker. So if there's any dust on the screen, I'm just going to tap the screen and it's going to remove the dust. In fact, no, nope, everything looks pretty clean right now. So let's go ahead and wipe down the screen with the dry cloth. Which I just, of course, ripped open the wet cloth. <laughs> there we go. Again, having just taken off the, uh, the screen protector, this is a really clean screen. But you want to go certainly look around the edges. Uh, with the screen protector, that's kind of a hot spot for where dust could settle. So make sure to wipe down the edges. Of course, have your screen in screen clean mode. You'll find that under the display area in your car's settings. And, um, you know, if you do want to watch uh, the older version of my install, again, that that video was, was linked here. But I'm going to take you through it here with version 2 of the kit. So, looking at the screen, it is spotless. Uh, it was spotless. I just picked up a little bit of dust. Um, so, one thing to note, you, you would definitely want to have the air conditioning in the car off. Um... That's a tough thing to do here in Florida, where it is still really hot this time of year. I'm going to grab this cleaner here. Just knock off a little bit more dust. Try not to drag your fingers on the screen. Be very careful. Um, of course, you're about to put the screen protector over the screen. So any imperfection, we'll call dust or fingerprint an imperfection, anything that's under the screen, it's going to stay under the screen for a while until you take this screen protector back off. So now I feel pretty good about this. Um, we'll move on to the next step. So we didn't need the wet. You might need it. You know, you might have makeup or, or caked on dirt from kids, whatever the case may be. Um, use the wet if you need it. If you don't need it, great. Keep the screen dry. Um, but, you know, again, use it if you need it. So now we're going to take the guide stickers and uh, we are going to put those on the back of the screen. Okay, there's no exact science to this. You kind of just lay them on there. You want to have a minimum of um, at least half of the sticker above the, uh, the top of the screen. You can see in some cases, I think I even put a little bit more than half of the sticker. So that's only four stickers. But you know what? They gave us all the stickers. Let's uh, let's use them. We'll get we'll get pretty tight up here on the edge. There we go. We'll do one more over on the left. I think the original install, if I recall back, um, only used three. So this should help uh, secure things down a little bit more. Here, let's uh, we'll move that over a little bit. We'll move that one over a little bit. Okay. So there are the guide stickers. Here's the screen protector. So it's in a nice uh, nice wrap. Um, I would say once you take this out, don't put it back, don't put it down. Um, don't let it collect dust. I can even see it might have some dust on it. Um, you're gonna take, there's a sticker on the back. So you don't have to worry about touching the back just yet. Once we put it down, you don't want it to get any fingerprints on the back because that'll defeat all the good work you just did. So let's try to line this up as best as possible. You know, my wife's car went second. We did my car first, of course. Um, so I would say my wife's car had a much... Uh, I mean, mine's really good. I'm really happy with it. But my wife's came out better than mine. Um, let's try to do that again for her. So this is the third time. We're going to install this kit and hopefully the last time, right? We don't want to bang it again, but it's nice to know you've got that lifetime warranty just in case. 
Okay, so what I'm looking for is I want to line up really the top corners. That's that's what you're going to see the most. Um, the bottom will fall into place if the top is perfect. So I look good. I'm kind of putting pressure there with my right hand so it doesn't move at all. And I knocked down my first guide sticker. You kind of want to follow that, that contour of the top because if you don't, it might sag a little bit after you... Uh, Go ahead and drop it down. That one wrinkled. I don't. I don't think that'll be a big deal. All right. We want to follow that contour of the top, and uh, there we go. So now we're in place. Um, they have one more step here called the lift and look. So this tab here was down at the bottom. We are going to lift, and you can see actually we did pick up some dust. So let's try to knock that out. A little bit more dust. Um, the risk of dust here is that you might get bubbles, or sorry, you will get bubbles. If you have dust under the screen, those will be bubbles that won't work out because um, they will kind of form that little bubble, little bump in the adhesive when this uh, comes down. So I think we look really good. Couple more spots there. Okay, we look really good. So now comes the fun part. We've got to remove the backing here on the screen protector. What we don't want to do, as we see, so you'll see, we're going to peel this away now. We cannot touch the bottom of the screen protector. So you can see I'm using my thumb here to just kind of hang on to the edge. It is now free and clear. We're gonna take this down. Let it touch the screen. Draw a line across the screen and now you can see, I mean, it's kind of magical actually, the wave as it, uh, the wave effect as it fills in. So, got a couple bubbles here up at the top. So, kind of work them with your finger. It's probably from the uh, the guide sticker. So what we'll do is we'll take all the guide stickers off now. I guess one negative to uh, using six guide stickers is six to peel off, <laughs> but no big deal. Yeah, so we had a little bubble there. Um, it's okay to touch the screen, of course. Uh, so you can work them out with your finger. They give us this nice uh, card. So we will uh, show you how to use it. Use that little uh, card. If it even needs to be done. These bubbles might just work themselves out really quickly. Yeah, okay, so that's all it was. As soon as I took the guide sticker off, you could see that bubble worked itself out. All right, that one's gone. Magical. Oh, little bubble left, perfect. So this gives us an opportunity to get rid of that bubble. So here's that little card they gave us. If we want to even be just extra careful, take that card, wrap it up in your microfiber towel. That's it, bubble's gone. And last one. All right, good. We got a good bubble here we could work out. Um, again, you'll see really easy. So there's our big bubble. Honestly, you could just do this with your finger. You could just slide your finger up and that bubble would disappear, but watch this. Just a little bit left. Barely using any pressure, just a slight angle. Bubble is gone. All right, so uh, as you can see here, that chip in the screen is gone. That was all my sacrificial layer in the screen protector. So thank you, Elon Accessories, uh, you saved the day. And um, we had a lifetime warranty we didn't even realize we had. Perfect install here around the edges. A little bit of dust is on top, thankfully. Um, let's go ahead and check out the screen.
Okay, so again, it's not just about protecting the screen. Uh, we want to enjoy it. So the anti-glare, the reduction in fingerprints, huge. So let's go ahead and uh, check out YouTube. I went ahead and bought a screen protector for my Model 3, installed it, loved it, it came out great. We went ahead and went on a road trip and my wife fell in love with it. All right, so there you go. There you have it. That's the Tesla Model 3 screen protector from Elon Accessories. If you'd like to pick one up, I've got a link in the description down below. That'll take you to either Amazon or directly to their website. I've got both options for you. Pick and choose the one that works best for you. Um, you'll be really happy. You won't regret it. I know it's a premium price. You want that premium product to protect your screen. This is really important here to keep this screen safe. Um, we're going to try something new here. We'll go with... Uh, We'll do a panning, panning montage of the, uh, the screen protector in action. But before we do, um, please help my channel grow. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, drop some comments, give me suggestions. Let me know things you'd like to see, what I'm doing well, if there's anything you wanna see improved on the channel. I appreciate all the feedback and take the time to read it all. Um, but that's it, that's all I have for you guys on this one.